poison continuously. The person that was giving me food is well known. Hey, homie, welcome back to my channel. Hi, dude, what's happening? My name is Omi or DK Magical, and this is Talk to Your Homie TV. You know what I'm saying? See, out here, I like to give every sweet and juicy kiss, and today I have hot just for you. Yeah, I'm blue. Do they have like a stand name? Because something you know i'm seeing something i'll help you and see it together i'm saying yeah so i have gist on yemi and blue i also have gist on olivia olivia my darling is giving us some sweet tea i'm talking about that as well you guys and fina oh shit come closer because this fina is going in if you've never been her fan i promise you after watching this video you you would have a double like mind and we think about you know fina and everything yes yeah, so please subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up now let's start just hey first of all i want to talk about how blue is moving i love how blue is moving you guys now over the weekend you get what i'm saying by the way happy easter is belated right now but happy easter jesus is raising for us to be a child of god get confidence back go and read matthew mark luke and john so that you understand exactly what it means that jesus is reason for us so that you can put it in your prayer don't do all over here now back to the gist so um since blue came to nigeria i have been loving her move i like how she's selling herself she wants to be in the entertainment industry she obviously is a musician i like how any opportunity she has she's selling that oh you know what i actually do sing song i have a, i have a hit i have this she, if, you, if you call blue to perform on the street you perform like that's the energy i'm getting you get me and i'll tell you why listen she's worked so hard to go into that house to get known now that she's known she's not wasting any minutes she wants you to know who she is because see beauty through the biggest party ever literally like oh my gosh everybody was there messy ak looked interesting video i saw i think right now yeah messi has just gotten too much money and she's like you know what this time around i want to do anything i can I, like anything i imagine about myself i'm going to achieve it literally so yeah anyways back to it all the celebs everyone i cannot mention all their names oh uh -uh. messi diane blue um yeah what's it called hermes adekunle everybody was at this party of course except for now except Fina. I'll tell you more about that yeah but let's talk about blue it felt like the party was thrown to push blue I don't think anybody in that party eh, 
trended the way blue trended like up and down and sideways i was seeing blue everywhere and i love that you cannot go into that big brother house and come outside and not say like all you have to do right now is run with your ambition so i like how she took she owned it she performed real well she was you get me yeah i i'm not gonna lie i really like it. if you're a blue fan i think that you actually chose the right person to stand behind she seems like somebody that is ready to push pray that god's favor is upon her life also and yeah i hope i think the sky will be a starting point for her then let's talk about yemi and blue you guys listen come closer how is it that at the party you get me i'll see yemi and blue sitting out together Beds are flying in the air, man. I'm looking like, what's happening? You get me? Is there something? Should we be? Should we be creating a name for them? But like, do they have like a fan name? Yeah, me and Blue. I don't know. But like, should we really create a name for them? Because why are they together? They did not look like there was any bad blood between them. I mean, with all I watch in the house, I really don't think that Yemi and Blue would hook up again and there will be bad blood. I don't think so at all. You get me? Right now, there are no cameras again, and just no cozy looking like what are you doing you get me yeah but i saw them together as i was trying to understand what was going on that's how today and i saw that they went to go and visit one of their big aunties you get me together and i'm looking like mm -mm. you know what i feel let's say it here first if it happens then i'll tell you i said it first if it doesn't happen whatever but i kind of feel like yummy and blue go smartly i think it will be a smart move i think they will smartly use this because right now we're seeing a lot of cozy talking about tosi and yummy it feels like because his fans don't even want to hear Yemi's name, see, they like just get out. Okay, good. So now that that energy is there, I feel like Blue and Yemi might just use that force to come together and benefit whatever they can benefit. Because see, if brand starts to work with them as a couple, they're going to make money. I feel like Blue's Blue in Nigeria is just a smart move. I hope she stays as long as she needs to stay to benefit all that is here for her in Nigeria. But I think she's a smart girl. I think she can see that. There's a positive energy for her here. If, if you don't know Blue, watch this video. I think there's a positive energy for you in Nigeria. I think you need to stay as long as you need to stay to take it all. You know, use the opportunity in front of his wife. Feel. If you guys think that you like a Yemi and Blue thing, talk to me in the comment section. If you guys think that, oh me nah, Blue should just be on her own. She's actually you know her brand is yeah. Talk to me as well in the comment section, my darling. Let's move swiftly to Olivia. Mm, you guys, Olivia. Hey, Olivia just signed a new deal with this automobile. You get me company, JB Autos and Machines. And apparently, they started her off with like a brand new whip. You get me? Of Olivia, uh, that seems like a lot of money. Olivia seems to me like somebody who is like, Let us get this money, get all the deal, get all the bag. I'm happy for her. All that she told us about her mother dying just before the show. I pray she benefits a lot from the show. So, big up to Olivia. If I'm not mistaken, Olivia has gotten a deal off this show. I also think that, yeah, no, I don't think I'm sure Yemi has a deal with um Speedy Weight Loss. But I think that they are the only two that have signed a deal so far. I don't know. But if you know anything, please let me know. If like someone has signed, I don't know about. Talk to me in the comment section. But I think that so far, it might just be only Olivia and Yemi that have signed a deal. Now let's talk about Fina. Okay, I can't even lie to you here. Yeah. While she was in the house, her own season, she was just a normal person to me. It wasn't like I really, oh, I loved Fina. I can't lie. You get me? I did not like her move with Groovy. I didn't like it at all. But I now watched this interview that she she did on token marking my show and i was just like okay you know what i think that we really need to understand that it is a game that they're playing here yeah? and life outside the game is a different thing because Fina talked about everything you guys first of all how everybody around her has been moving mad do you know you guys if you have not watched that interview you need to watch everything i know that 
a part of the interview trended where she talked about like her and Groovy not dating, yeah, but like it was a whole lot more. Like one, how everybody in her areas in her community, her friend and family, knew it mad that she actually got poisoned, you guys. Like somebody in her house, like whoever living with Hasha was cooking food, cooking food for her and was steadily putting things in her food. And she would be having to um, tell me upset, tell me upset. She did not know what it was. She went to the hospital to check for everything until they finally it was hooking her and she now coughed and she coughed blood. I've been fed poison continuously. It's not that instant. So what was it called? Was person staying with you? Yes. Said I've gone to the hospital like how many times? I'm always having stomach pain, stomach pain. Like every time I finish eating my stomach, I'm like, what's wrong? So I went to the hospital, I ran tests, I checked my kidney, liver, everything. They said I'm okay. They said no. I went back home. I know I have a but I take medications mm. for that. Continuously, continuously. I'm one day in the house. The pain was so much and I had cough and I was coughing and I saw down. I'm like, what's this? So went to the hospital and Doctor gave drinks and I started speaking their grammar and some of everything was like I mean I'm taking poison. Maybe he, he didn't want he to go to like poison. I should check the food I eat, uh food poisoning, blah blah blah. Just like when the hate now comes from your family and friends, now that is a scary matter. Like we left the group chat. Like I do like that's the height. Do you get me? Like that's crazy. And then next talk about trolls. Fina is troubled. And like at some point, okay, marking what I had to say. Like maybe you need to go and see a psychologist. And I'm serious. Like you know, like you need to not psychologist, therapist. You need to go for therapy. Like go and just go and talk to somebody because it's crazy. You guys like she. Do you know Fina actually said that she prefers her old life before. She, big brother till now because then she had peace but she did not have money now she has money but she but she feels like someone that did money ritual why because she has money but she does not have peace she cannot sleep at night the trouble is just everywhere around her she does not understand like it's crazy the fan hate that the, the hate that she's getting from people online is just too much she talked about her elections day like Oh, man, I feel nah. See, as in, as I was watching this one, I felt so bad for her. I feel like I meant to give her a hug. She's she's twenty six. You get me. So I mean, I just I feel like giving her a hug because like I understand navigating your life in your twenties is not easy. I can't lie to you. Then you go for a show as big as that, and then you come out, and then you're all you're getting is hate. It's it's sad. She even went on to talk about how people like always try to drag her because she's. Because she's what's that? Because she's like raz and loud, and but that's who she is. She says she grew up in a do state and like she grew up in like a bar. You get me right? Like no restaurant bar. You know, sabi how bad they get. You get what I'm saying? And so she grew up there. So you cannot expect her. Like this is this is that's her. If you think she's rather as hard, if she had been fresh and posh and all that in that zone, they would have they would have ripped her. She needed to be. You get me whiskey to survive there. How her auntie maltreated her. How that's it. Mm. I grew up in a do state, I grew up in a restaurant, mm. a bar. Mm. So you don't expect me to be all there. Yeah. You shine your eye. If person touch you for bum bum, you shot them. Mm. Like that, that's it. So mm. it has been part of me. I went to a public yeah. school. Like you they can't just come and want me to be who I'm not. Mm. No. In fact, I've been fighting until now, I'm still fighting. Mm. Yeah. I'm still fighting because I want everybody to understand me. I want everybody to know where I'm coming from. I want everybody to I just want a lot. And I don't know why they don't want to just see me the way I am and everybody should rest. Mm. You know what? Let, let's just say something here. Eh? You see I said this Trina's G talking about how I did not like all that groovy thing, but like even her and Kofi are not together. Do you get me? Like, it's, it's, it's okay. Your hate for her is okay. Right now, she's pushing hard. Like, she's working. Like, she's Trina, She's dropping skits on a steady. That girl is hungry to walk. Like, she's hungry to win. Forgive her. Forgive her. The Bible, let me tell you, this is even Easter week. You get me? We're in the Holy Zone. So, let me tell you, what, what did Jesus say? Forgive me my forgive me my sin as I forgive others. Do you know what that means? Because if you don't forgive others, God can't forgive you. That's literally what that prayer means. Forgive me my sin as I forgive others. Forgive her. Ah, you can't be. She 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 she, she talked about how that time as she posted and said that you know someone said that ah, I wish you can just 
fall down and die and all and she put it online and um, people were saying oh this person said my mind really really like what did she do to you like she only took movies okay i think that was when i got a message from a fan saying that we should just slow and die ah i'm like you never reach like this immediately i just because most times i get all these threat messages text yeah. messages calls even to my mom's Facebook, she gets messages. And sometimes I'll just come online and just rant. Mm -hmm. And everybody will be like, look at that. Restless winner. She's fighting herself. She's doing this. She's doing that. So that very day I saw that message. I wanted to also ignore and still come and rant. I was like, no, for once, let me post. At least they should know that it's coming. Mm -hmm. And I did. And some people were still like, yes, this person just said my mind. You should just slum and die. I don't mm -hmm. like seeing you. Uh, big brother winning miss road like it's the lifestyle is crazy honestly it is crazy i am seeing a lot I mean, Fina, this is me just telling you like i wish you luck man i, I pray for you I, I know you know god i hope you have a relationship with god and if you really need to see therapists go, go and see a therapist there yeah? and just my just in like in final conclusion it's amazing how this big brother show like people go there to blow to be successful to just you get me yes you go there for that but what you don't understand is that you're opening yourself to some kind of hate that nobody can tell you how to control it's a mental war out there so you see when people tell me oh go for the show baba baba i don't think i'm as hungry like i'm hungry to be successful yes but i'm on god's path you can see that i even have a channel called delight where i'm preaching the bible guy now god go let god direct my life because i cannot go and put my like i don't see like the only means that if i don't go there we die no 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 when it's time for me to shine i will shine and i i, I want people to have that in mind so like, you don't go to a show and your mental health is now like she said that like, there's someone that is that that did a uh, money ritual do you know how mad that is oh man if you're not sorry like Ha! <sighs> but what's your opinion, Shah? Do you feel like, I mean, if after all I've said, you still think, oh, me, I beg the light, yeah, I hit that, la, 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 la. tell me, you just go on YouTube and type, to care, marking why, you get me, you see the interview, watch it, you, you really should watch it, just because she's a human being like you, watch it and just see where she's coming from, and if she's right, let her be right, it's okay, that's who she is. Ah, me, I grew up in Lagos, that, that's why I can speak all this, my, my English is clean. Anyway, I, I grew up in Anambra, and I have our accent who cares man that's who i am you annoy me you get me but yeah i just have to stop here because i'm just like i really felt bad for her watching that interview you can tell right yeah but that's it don't forget to have a vlog channel called oh me or dk why you go there i show you behind the scene of all these things because see okay so how am i doing it that i'm a mother and i'm also now coming back here to film how's life what am i doing here i'll put a link to that video that to that channel down below and i i mean i, I dropped a video of like me and my hobby and talking about our relationship and how i kind of kind of kind of maybe kind of kind of kind of kind of kind of not i said it too maybe i cheated i'll put a link to that video down below go down click it and watch it i remember when we need god to talk to you I have a channel called the life we'll talk about the bible and how god can help you live a better life my darling on that note i say i love you with all my heart and you mean so much to me come and take a kiss job bye bye